Hi guys! So in this video today we're going to talk about how to plan a journey uh, from point A to point B. So this weekend we've got a trip coming up from just south of Chesterfield up to Leeds. It's a journey that we do regularly but we've never done it before in my electric car. So we're going to do a bit of planning, see what, what service stations we can stop at, where we need to go once we're in Leeds, uh, if we need to charge up at the other end on arrival uh, and that sort of thing. So let's have a look what to do. Now there are a number of ways that you can do this. You can either use this app which is called Electric Highway and this is uh, compatible with the Ecotricity charging stations that you find at service stations uh, on the motorway. So I'm already registered with uh, with Ecotricity and this is the service stations that I'm going to be looking out for. Set find pumps and you can then set your location and then you can do it that way or can go on um, Ecotricity's website and do it from here and tells you the different types of charger that they provide and then there's a map down here which is what I want to look at and we're going to be traveling up the M1 so now if I just zoom in with two fingers now you can see um, the various charging stations as, as we go north from sort of Derby up to Leeds. So right by where it says Sheffield, you can see the number six. So I'm just going to click on that. And this shows, oh, two fingers, this shows the various service stations up that stretch of the M1. Over to Barnsley Way, there's two more. And we can see that they are at this uh, what is it called? Woolly Edge Southbound service station there. So it's green, it's basically what we're looking for. And we can see it's a DC and AC fast charge. So that's what we're after for our Nissan Leaf. So now that we've found that we've got um, a north and southbound option at Woolly Edge service station, let's just have a look at the ones that were further down the motorway. which are the ones that I'm a bit more familiar with, but um, I'll have a little look. On there, sort of by Rotherham. And that's got two types of charger there, so that's good to know. It's not quite on the M1, that's the uh, RS Meadow hallway, it's fine. Stop off for a coffee if we have to. And we've got two options here, which are Woodall Service Station. So that's another one I'm familiar with. So it's always good to know what your options are, north and south, um, well, whichever direction are you travelling in, um, so that you you know you're more planned for whatever may come your way. So now that we've got those three options. Um, it's just a case of having a look for one that's sort of by um, leads when we arrive uh, in case we're a bit low on arrival or on departure. So I'll just have a look at them. So you can see now that there are no Ecotricity services sort of round by Leeds City Centre. Um, certainly not what's showing on this site. So the last ones at the service stations on our leg of the journey is Woolly Edge. So that's something that we need to be aware of there. And it might be that there are actually services closer in, in Leeds City Centre. They're just The providers just aren't ecotricity. They might just be solely focusing on uh, motorway service stations. So we need to find out who is in, in sort of Leeds City Centre area. Uh, so we've got a backup there. Another good alternative is this app called Zap Maps. Um, it's really good. It'll show you all um, charging stations around the country, not just on the motorway. Um, you will have to take into account that some of them aren't working. Every time you um, should click on one of these sort of 
pins, if you like. Um, it will provide you with information about that, that station. So if I click on, I'm going to zoom in, zoom in and click on one here, a random one, this one say. So it will tell you a bit of information about where that charging station is. So it provides you with the full um, address so that you can put it into your sat nav if you wish. Um, and the type of charger you can see at the bottom is got a number two next to a little blue picture of a charger icon. That's really good. And uh, it tells you if it's available or if it's out of order or anything like that. Uh, it's also got route planner here. It's telling us we either need to log in or register. Now, I don't think I'm registered, so just bear with me while I register. So I've now registered. It's took me back to the main page. Uh, I had to provide my personal details um, and the make and model of my car uh, and a username. Um, and I'm guessing this is so that they can tailor the app and um, the relevant charges to your vehicle. So. Let's try again at popping in a route. Now I've put in my uh, route details, my start and end destination. And now if I go on next, having put in my real sort of EV range, I should have mentioned really that my, um, my Nissan Leaf is the 2015 model uh, 24 kilowatt battery. So it is the smallest battery. Um, so this is a good experiment and obviously if you get a bigger battery um, your range will obviously be further. So if we go in the next step, yeah, just processing my route, here we are. And normally we would travel up what's showing up as the orange route that's 71 miles. So I'll select the orange route, it's just doing a little bit of a process there for us. Select a, a charge to stop at. So it's saying from my starting point that's sort of at the bottom of this, the page near Sutton in Ashfield, Matlock, in between there. Um, it's saying that I'll need to charge up at one of three on the way up. So the first one's Wakefield. Now if you can see Wake, the Wakefield pin has got like a red outline. And that, I believe, means it's out of order if we go there loading status out of service so something to be aware of so i might want to stop off earlier than that so i made a note earlier of um woolly edge services uh, where are we meadow hall services so i might be tempted to stop at one of those instead of risking it up to wakefield area and then we've got two more uh, pins that are showing us that we can charge there so if i click on one of them this is looking good. So the provider is Polar. So I'm not familiar with Polar. So we'll have to look into them and see if I need to register beforehand. Um, and then the other one, if we click on the other pin, is oh, issues reported there. And that provider is NG. So the best one is looking like uh, the last stop. Um, in Garforth Leeds so I'll just make a note of the the road and the postcode Silby Road LS 251 NB and then I know where I need to pop into if I need it um, okay let's write up our plan of action so I've written down on this piece of paper my plan of action um, so sort of MacArthur Glen area to Leeds, uh, it's 73 miles and it's going to take me an hour and a half. Now these first four service stations are on the motorway and they're the ones that I'm most familiar with. We drive past them all the time, so I'm not worried about those. Um, but these ones as we get closer into Leeds city centre and off the motorway, they're the ones that I really want to be uh, making sure that I know where I'm going and I've got their addresses. Um, of course, you can always take your own um, domestic charger. Uh, if, so we're going to a family member's house uh, and it might be possible that we can charge up from out their garage overnight. Um, that's always an option that you can't rule out. Um, but just in the event that they haven't got any facilities handy, 
um, in which to do that, it's always best to know your options and make sure you know who the providers are. So we've got in Alpha Power, Instavault and Polar and make sure that you register with them beforehand and at least check it, what it is that you need to do. Um, there are some providers, um, G Genie spring to mind, who you actually have to register with and they send you a card. So it's worth bearing in mind um, that everyone operates slightly differently. So there we have it guys, one journey planned. We'll see how that pans out when we, when we travel up. You can find out how that goes next week. I will also put a link above. And I hope you found it really helpful. It's my first journey that I've planned um, to go any sort of distance without knowing where to charge and, and that sort of thing. So it, it's a learning curve for all of us. So if you know of a better way to plan a journey, please let me know. Please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and find out what happens next week. And in the meantime, Wish me luck.